What is happening, everybody? It's Sean Alami, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I think it's been some time since you and me sat in this room and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Well, I hope whatever you are, you are taking care of yourself. You staying home, stay away from your loved ones. Don't hug your parents. Don't hug your grandparents. Because by the way things are going, I don't think this thing has any plans to pack his bags and go home just yet. So stay safe. And that is all I came here to talk to you guys about today. I'm just kidding. I came here to talk to you guys about seamless transitions. I know some of you have heard that phrase a million times before, but for those of you who don't know what a seamless transition is, is when you cut from one shot to the next without you even noticing the cut. Recently, you've seen it a million times all over the internet before. When people do in-camera transitions, at the end of their shot, they move to right or left, and they do the same thing when they open the next shot. And there's a million sorts of different presets that lets you do that in post. But the seamless transition I want to talk to you guys about today, most of you might have not even heard about it before. I like to call it the sun transition. It is when you have your shot and the sun is in your perspective. And let's say you are moving with the camera and the sun hides itself behind an obstacle or your object. And as soon as it comes out and it hits the camera again, that is when you cut to the next shot. And just like that, you have a seamless sun transition. Let me show you exactly what I mean by that. All right, so here, me, Martin and Lena, we went up to a place called Eiffel, hoping for some snow. Unfortunately, there was not a lot of snow, but we did what we had to. So this is exactly what I meant by having a shot that has a sun in the perspective that hits in the camera as you move along. As you can see here, we have Alina walking in the woods and boom, you see the sun comes and then it goes, right? So I have an opportunity to cut when the sun hits the camera like that. So let's say we want to start out from here and this is shot on the Sony Alpha 7S 3 4K, 422, 10 bit. 120 frames per second. I never thought I would say that one day, but it is what it is. Let's start from, let's say here, here. And we put some music on top of that, then you have money. Good, so, so this is our shot right here. Boom. And then the next one will be Martin. See, I see, I see, I see, yeah. So start from there, right? And then actually I might just, I was a little too much, I think the same, so the same size, we're on the same place. And then he comes in, God damn, he's good looking. Boom. So let's see. Well, I think yeah, right there. You see, just like that. Now there's one more trick that just adds a little cherry on top. And that is by using a light leak. I'm sure most of you know what that is. These are overlays where you can download them from different places. I got mine from Envato. Let's say, let's just work with that one. So you bring her in. Scale it up if you have to, it's no problem. Put it on screen, blending mode on screen. I think we want where to be the strongest, like here. Exactly. So just look at that. And I would just control D or command D on Mac just to kind of let this thing blend in a little better. A little bit of sound effects and boom. That's nice, isn't it? That is nice, my friends. Now let me show you a small part of the final edit of this video so you can see how exactly it works together well with sound effects and everything.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and stay safe until we see each other next time.